Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora haul. So I know, I know, I just had did an order with Pandora during their free wristlet promotion. I will link that video below. I did not place that order for the free wristlet. That was a fun surprise. But when I got home from my trip, and looked at all those beautiful charms. I, we, we mainly ordered bracelets for that promotion. Um, one for me, one for my mom. They then started the buy two, get one free sale. And that is always my favorite time to buy Murano's or clips, things for my bracelets that I may not wanna buy on my trips. Um, I tend to like to buy charms for places, for memories, for occasions, for experiences not necessarily just because they're pretty, although I do that sometimes too. So when they have these buy two, get one free sales, that's my favorite time to buy Murano's or clips or accessorizing pieces like spacers that I necessarily wouldn't pick up in a store in Copenhagen. So I went ahead and I was very good. I only ordered two Murano's and one clip. I was going to place an order for two Murano's and four clips and split it into two, but the last chance section caught me before I could do that. So I have five charms in here that are mine. And then my mom placed two orders. So she ordered, I'm not even sure. I know she ordered two Murano's and a safety charm, safety charm, safety chain. But I'm not a hundred percent sure what her other order was maybe clips she'd been wanting some clips for her travel bracelet so either way I've got five charms she's got six maybe not all charms I know some of mine are clips some of hers might be clips we don't know let's open the boxes and we'll know all right so we're going to get right into this you can see I've already opened it because I didn't want y'all to have to wait and see so here is one box, dun, 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 dun. and I think this one is mine. Like I said earlier, I only placed one order. My mom placed two. So I have two boxes here. Let's see when I open this one. Yeah. Okay, so there's two, two baby boxes in this one. So I'm guessing this is her order, and she did place these orders separately, but they sent them in one box because they're smart. And then Mine came in a big box for some reason. That's fine, obviously. So let's go ahead and open hers first and we will leave mine to last. So I don't, I don't even really remember what she ordered. I know she got some clips and a safety chain. And then, all right, so here's the safety chain and it is the little blue one. I'll put the names on the screen because especially the things she ordered, I don't quite remember. Ooh, these are those pretty blue, like, ocean Murano's. I like these. I have thought about getting these for one of my ocean bracelets a lot, but I have a hard time with buying Murano's or clips or things that aren't fancy charms. <laughs> All right, so, okay, I remember what she got now. So here's her clips, and these are the ocean clips. So mom, of course, only has the two bracelets, her one shine bracelet and her new travel bracelet. So all of these things are themed for her travel bracelet. And then this piece is actually one that I already own. I bought this one in Estonia um, before mom decided she was going to start buying. Oops. Haha, before mom decided she was going to start buying travel charms as well. She made it through Germany and Estonia and France. She couldn't take it anymore. And she started buying the charms, so she only missed a couple spots. And uh, Estonia was one of them, but Estonia did not have a specific um, exclusive charm. So I picked this one up because I just loved it and then mom really liked it. So she ended up buying it as well. And it is the rose gold 
plain suitcase and globe dangle. I will give you a close up, of course, of all of her charms. But in the meantime, what did I order? I don't remember. Oh, I ordered more stuff. That's why I, it came in a big box. Okay, so I did good and bad. So I ordered two Muranos. These are the blue star Muranos for my Avengers Marvel bracelet. I had two or three sets, one set of Muranos, two sets of clips that are on my wish list. And I almost placed two orders for two Muranos and a clip and then three clips. But I did get this clip. I'm gonna have to get the second one one day soon. But instead of doing two separate orders, these two little guys from the Star Wars collection were on last chance, final call, must be retiring these. And so I had to get them before they were gone because I skipped R2-D2 and I have been hunting for him ever since. I finally found him. Getting these two on last call, it gave me the push I needed. And I found R2-D2 on a marketplace seller and it is actually supposed to be here today, so I can maybe put this bracelet together. But let's go ahead and take all of these charms and I will show you individual shots of all of them. Here are the ocean Muranos, and you guys, like the shimmer and the shine in these look like waves. Like they legit look like waves. They are beautiful. You can see the hallmarks here on the side. Pandora has the S925 on the bottom. And if you flip it all the way around, dun -dun -dun, it has the ALE on the other side. Now on the opposite end, it is simply silver. So. These are beautiful. I cannot wait to see them on her bracelet. And honestly, like, we may, we may have to toss these on my ocean bracelet just to, you know, just experiment, y'all, just to see. Maybe I need them. Maybe. All right, let's look at her clips now. see if we can put them on without having to unclip them. We can. So these clips are of course designed to go over. Ooh. Don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. It's fine. I didn't mean it. They're more durable than that, but still. Let's not and say we did. Oh, I love how it looks like a little heart, the little countries. Oh, even Oh, even at the bottom there. Look, that looks like a heart. Now, these are prettier in person than I thought they would be. These are meant to go over clip stations. Of course, you could put them on a bracelet without clip stations, but they are intended for clip stations, which is, if you caught my last Pandora haul, mom's heart closure bracelet. She has the silver with the gold clasp, it has the clip stations. Oh, look at that. Look at that little heart. Y'all, I love the details. So I actually picked up a set of the retired globe chips, chips, clips from Rulala, which are entirely silver because I thought these would be a little too much blue for my bracelet, but mom is doing a more blue turquoise a base, more kind of red, white, and blue all around. So I think these will be beautiful on her bracelet. I don't see any hallmarks on the outside, but that is quite normal with clips. I bet if we open these up, the hallmarks will be inside. Let's see. clip opener in here. There it is. Oh, there's my ocean bracelet. Maybe 
Maybe we should just sneak these on here real quick. What do you think? I think it's a great idea, y'all. You're so smart. All right. It's not like mom would care either way. She's not gonna come over here mad because I tried a clip or a Murano on my bracelet. Otherwise, she probably wouldn't have let me borrow her haul to show y'all. All right, let's see if I can't see it and if I can't show y'all. So it is on the bottom. Oh, that's tight, okay. You see it right in there, the S925? Well, there's the hallmarks. And if you did want to see this with the ocean leather bracelet, you can see, well, you can see if it'll focus. There we go. They are a really nice color match. So, maybe it would even stay in focus. I like, I'm, I'm going for a rose kind of gold look here. You can see with the blues of the starfish and my dolphin, and I have the rose gold with blue clips, but this would totally, totally go in here if that's what you were looking for. I'm also thinking I want to get, I'm doing two ocean theme bracelets. This one that kind of has more abstract beads like from when I went swimming with the dolphins and yada 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 but I also have charms from my other other bracelet other haul from all the ports we went to like Puerto Vallarta um, I'll link to that haul down below we went on a cruise out of California and I stopped stopped at a Pandora in each port and got specific charms some more exclusive and I've been waiting to put them on a bracelet all right give me a minute and I'm going to throw those Muranos on here because I want to see what they look like all right I like them a lot because they add a little bit more of that deeper blue like my rose gold clips there instead of just the turquoise blue so we will see, but I may have to pick up a pair of these. I am changing this bracelet up, so if you want to check out the full design, I will have a full video on it shortly, but trying to decide on Murano's, and I wasn't sure if I liked these, or there was a couple other pairs that I liked, and seeing it in person really helps, and y'all, we don't live anywhere near a Pandora store, so kind of makes it hard but I wanted to show you really quick here's the difference between a silicone linked clip here my rose gold and blue ones and a non silicone lined clip so these are designed to go over clip stations and then they stay in place whereas the silicone lined ones can go anywhere on a bracelet and hold their position now you can get the little silicone inserts for these and you just put on your bracelet, bracelet, I can't talk today, bracelet, and then clip them over top. But without that silicone piece, your clips are essentially just charms. And if these were my clips, mom can do what she wants, but I would put them on one side forwards, one side backwards, so you could see both sides of the globe in one look. All right. Moving on. So while we were on the Ocean Collection, here is the blue safety chain. You can see it is solid silver on this side of the bale. And this side has the hallmarks. So it says 925 ALE, S925 ALE. I love how delicate this is. I'm not a huge fan of the new trend going around where people put charms in between their safety chains, kind of in the middle of their bracelet as a like 
showcasing that charm with the safety chain, but if I was going to do that, this would be the kind of safety chain I would do it with because it's so delicate. It would showcase nicely without taking away from the bracelet. I like that it has, it has the little gemstones, the CZs here. So it has two of the lighter teals and maybe if I turn this around, there we go. And one of the darker blue. So I think it would actually blend really nicely. Don't look at my nails. I need to have them done so bad, but it would blend really nicely with the combination of the teals and the dark blues in these kind of ocean themes. So again, I might need this. See, this is what I'm talking about here is a lot of times people are, instead of putting the safety chain from end to end to protect that clasp, they're inserting it in the middle. Now just pretend, play along with me here, this is on the bracelet but it would be highlighting like the center pieces here. If I was to do this, this would be the kind of chain I'd do it with. My other safety chains, you know, they're thicker. You see how much thicker this is? And this delicate piece. So this is my oldest bracelet, and even though it's cleaned all the time, it's just not as sparkly and new. <laughs> and that's not even the thickest safety chain out there. It's just the one I have on top. Either way, I love this piece. This was another one that is on my wish list, and then I am so jealous of my mom for getting ahead of me. It is um, threaded, so if you put it over the ends of a threaded bracelet. It will keep your charms in place. If you put it over the ends of a non-threaded bracelet, you will need a silicone piece to keep it in place, which is not ideal, but you know, it's still pretty. All right, last but not least, mom, only other thing she bought was her rose gold travel charm. I love how delicate this is. It is so pretty. I bought this in Estonia and I tossed it on my rose gold O pendant because I was wearing it that day and it just like it didn't specifically go with the design that I was wearing. It was just a rose gold design but I loved it. I loved how it played with the rest of the pieces we'll go grab it because I literally wore it like that for the rest of the trip and decided at the end that I'm going to leave it on there when I travel. I am not going to put it on my bracelet. So you can see here, here's the hallmarks, A-L-E, and then M-E-T. I could not read it for a second. My eyes would not focus. On the other side, you have that little heart detail at the top. From there, you have the three charms and they have so much detail. Look at that globe. Look at it. The suitcase has a cute little pink heart with the airplane going through it like Y'all, it's ridiculous. Like the plane has little windows. Do you want a little window seat? You can get one. It's crazy. I love every angle of this design and I am love, love, loving the three charm dangles that they're doing lately. I love them for stacking. So I have it stacked on my O pendant. I will get it at the end of the video um, with my larger pendant. Uh, Murano glass heart and it's beautiful. The large pendant charm with the small rose gold dangle charm. So, oh, so pretty. I'm glad mom got this one. It does come in silver. So if you are not a rose gold girl, I don't understand you, but you know, you do you, I'll do me. 
and uh, the silver is available, but mom is doing mixed metals for her travel charm and she needed a little more rose gold. So she got the rose gold as well. Obviously I did. All right, moving on. I'm gonna go ahead and do my clip. So I only got one of these. I cannot wait to get the second one. It hurts my heart to have to get one at a time, but I just, whoop, you guys are moving. I just couldn't justify it when I decided I wanted to get the Star Wars pieces. You can see it says Pandora. Da -da -da. And the little heart piece does move back and forth just a little bit. It's a freestyle heart, freestyle. And it is a smaller clip, but it does fit over the clip station. So you would have to add silicone to this if you wanted it to stay put. Cannot wait to get the second one. All right, next up we have these starry Muranos. You can see they do have glitter in them. Kind of like little stars. Oh, that's so cute. It makes me think of Star Wars since I got those Star Wars charms, but I got these for my Avengers bracelet. I love the whole stars and stripes. Star Spangled Man is my favorite man with plan. So I think these will be so perfect on there. And I'm sorry, like, I know I said earlier, like, I can hardly spend money on Murano's when I would rather buy pretty, like, detailed charms. But I am a sucker for a Murano with these side pieces. I have the Murano's with the <laughs> rose gold leaves on the side. I have the ones with the stars and the hearts. So, like, if you... Put a detailed piece all the way around it. I'm probably gonna wanna buy it at some point. You can see it has the S925 ALE and Pandora. They are threaded. They are chunky boys, but that is good because as of right now, I'm, ass I'm assuming, Pandora, if you ever listen to little old me, I'm assuming that they are going to have a bigger, better, less creepy faced Marvel collection at some point. But until then, my Marvel bracelet is fairly skimpy because I just don't like those creepy little people. So these will help chunk it up a bit. I will try, I will try to do a full Marvel Avengers uh, bracelet style for you soon. Because looking good if I do say so myself. All right, last but not least, we have the two pieces that I just had to have from the last Chance Star Wars pieces. There are still a few up on the website, but I don't know how many. I I was just too like emotionally scarred from not getting an R2-D2 as soon as I saw these were on sale last chance I had to get them. So this one on the right says, I love you on the top. It has Leia and Han Solo. It has Falcon on the back. And on the top it says, I know. And honestly, like I love Leia and Han Solo, but I really did get this for the Falcon. I, I don't know why, I just love the Falcon. So the second piece is the Leia dangle. I love, love, love that this piece, R2-D2, and the lightsabers have the same starry bail. I love Princess Leia with those blue CZs. And then we have the Death Star on a blue background. The stars and the back of her dangle says, don't mess with this princess, which I love. She is a force to be reckoned with. And that is everything good and right with the world. All right, so let's see. We've got Pandora, ALE, S925, the right side of the land angle. Focus 
this point. Okay. There we go. The right side has the LFL at the top, which of course is the Lucasfilms logo from Star Wars. And that is on, I think, all of their Star Wars pieces. So you can see it here at the top of this one as well. The only one that I don't think it is on is on the original uh, Millennium Falcon Dangle Charm. It might be on the remake with the golden ticket. don't believe it is on the original. And that is one of the few Star Wars pieces I have because I, like I said, I love that Millennium Falcon. Come on, you could do it. I don't wanna mess up all my layers. Let's see. So I had to have this guy as soon as it came out. Pandora, Aeoli, S925, and on the other side, it does, it does have LFL. Lucasfilms and Disney. Disney Parks. So here's the original one, Star Wars. Millennium Falcon. And the, the remake has the gold on top instead of the silver, but I love this. This is kind of my movie bracelet. It's my only black and gold besides my Pittsburgh Steelers bracelet, but all of these Star Wars charms are going to go on an open bangle with this so I can layer them. That's irrelevant. <laughs> I do have a full look at this bracelet, so if you want to see it, I will link it down below. But I believe, I think it's up to date. I think the last time I showed you this was when I got the last couple charms for it. So I will link it, you will look at it. Maybe not. I believe that is everything. All right, so before I go, this is the design that I wore all over Europe. I had it going on my O pendant, and you can see I tossed that little travel pendant on there, and I loved it. I thought it interacted really nice with my bigger pendant but it's also the exact same shade of enamel for this little heart as for my pink beads up above. So I think this might be a, a winning combination for traveling with my O pendant. Don't know that I'll wear it like this necessarily just all the time, but for travel especially, I don't like to bring a lot of jewelry. So I loved the O pendant while I was traveling and I liked that I could literally just toss a charm on it if I bought one and didn't want a lot of extra boxes in my bag. I could literally toss whatever I wanted on here, wear it back to the ship and I knew it wasn't gonna get lost. I know, I'm weird. See y'all in the next video.